to uh, get your first start. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable to be honest. Um, it's, it's one of those where I, I thought, you know, I thought maybe on the bench. Um, didn't really think, I wasn't sure if I'd start because um, all the boys have played really well as well. So, but it's uh, one of those where it's, it's a dream and I'm going to hopefully try and step up and do what I can. Was it made easier by getting on after just 10 minutes against Italy? Absolutely, yeah. I was, no I was very, very nervous. Um, but um, I got to run around, expel a lot of nervous energy. Um, so that was brilliant, yeah. And what about the way that you adapted to the, uh, the pace of international rugby? You seemed to uh, take it all in your stride. Uh, well, it didn't feel like that at first, but um, like I said, it was lucky to get out with that 10 minutes and calm myself down, realise that it, I, I think I can, do, I can handle this level. I can, I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be there and back myself a little bit. So that's kind of where I was at and I, I'm, I'm confident I can, I can uh, keep up with it. So is it all comparable, basically, to Champions Cup rugby, which you're used to with Saracens? Yeah, I, if I was to, uh, yeah, I think it is. If I was to equate it to stuff like that, you have you have the the, the club teams that are, sometimes they they do feel like test matches, and I've heard some of the boys say that, and I kind of uh, got a grasp of that. It's probably going to be um, bigger. No disrespect to Italy, but it's another step up with Ireland. So it's going to be one of those where I'm going to be um, seeing. I'm, I'm going to be confident. I'm going to try and hit the ground running. And uh, Robbie Henshaw is your uh, opponent? Yeah, sad for Gary Ringrose. I think he was at hand. I think um, he's a great player. And obviously, Robbie Henshaw's a fantastic player as well. Two great centres they've got in, Bundiaki and himself. So anyone they bring in is going to be class. So it's going to be a great opportunity. And I'm, I'm really excited for it. What are you expecting from Ireland, especially uh, given the weather forecast for the weekend? <laughs> I think, yeah, well, I think it's going to be, it's going to be for both of us, really. Um, they're great in the air. They're good at set piece. Um, Sexton's got and Murray have got great kicking games, and they compete hard in the air as well. So, uh, I think we're expecting a lot in the air, a lot of physicality, um, and we we want to bring it as well. So I think both teams are playing in it. So you've got that kind of it's going to be great and it's going to be a good battle. Maybe not quite as much uh, wide rugby as you would otherwise have liked though, from the Welsh point of view. Yeah, no, maybe, but we'll see. You've got to adapt to whatever you, you ever whatever the opposition gives you, whatever the weather gives you. So. I mean, I, I think you can understand I've been in many Saracen wins where we haven't really run it, um, spun it wide. So um, I'm ready for any kind of any game that comes. And what's the uh, family reaction been like? It's been amazing. It's honestly, they, well, they still can't, they're still talking about it now. So I think they weren't meant to um, fly out to oh, New, um, Ireland, but they're, they're all coming now. So <laughs> Scramble for tickets. Very, yeah, they're even, all very, very excited. Even your dad's side. Even my dad's side. <laughs> it was brilliant watching him, you know, it, having him uh, uh, got a shirt on. So... That was the best. And all this um, must be, I suppose, a, a welcome relief after the, what's been going on back at uh, back at Saracens. Nice to be in another world at the moment. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, I can still keep in touch with all the boys, trying to uh, hear what the what the mood's like. So it has been a nice um, uh, distraction because uh, it's been pretty tough over there. But um, yeah, this is something that I'm, I'm here. I'm focused on this. So at the moment, so it's, it's good. Nick, Nick, I think after your performance on Saturday, a lot of English rug, rugby fans were thinking, we've let one slip through the cracks there. Can you just give us an idea of the conversations with Wales and uh, whether there was any contact at any point from Eddie Jones from England? No, there, there wasn't any, any contact from Eddie. Um, I, I mean, I just had contact with Wayne and Wayne um, called me and I was, I was more than happy to, to meet him and to get the opportunity. Um, it just was just, I, I couldn't have accepted it quick enough. So it was one of those where... I was just so happy to have it. Yeah, and tell us what was your grandmother in particular's reaction to you wearing the red jersey? Well, she well she she died. Oh, uh, it's okay. So she died. That's right. It, no, well, I know she would have been really proud. And actually, that's something that's a massive. Um, it was a, a big decision for me, but that was one thing that I, I kept thinking. I kept going back to how proud she would have been. So I'm really, really fortunate that um, not fortunate she can see it, but I know she would have been proud. And what's the side of your dad in the red jersey? What was that like? That was even better, honey. That was <laughs> that was just brilliant. That was. Um, Oh, my brother! My brother, I think my brother was wearing a shirt, and he, I think he cried as well, which was, yeah. which was very funny to to see. But it's, I mean, they're all just so proud and happy. You know all the words to the national anthem yet? Yes, I do yeah. now. Yeah, well, I, I had to learn it. I made sure I coming Best in. Course. You can't not learn it, especially with Ken Owens. He was <laughs> he was helping me out as well, but it's good. You need to master the Ken Owens and Alan Jones, you know, tear running down the cheek as well. Yeah, well, I'll try, but you know, we'll see. <laughs> I'll, I'll just keep trying to remember the anthem at first. <laughs> Thanks. Obviously brought up in the English system, playing for Saracens, but that Welsh side of the family, yeah, they've always maintained a commitment to Welsh rugby. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. So my mum's side, we've got, um, I've got cousins who own a, I think they own a box at the Scarlets. Um, so really, really big rugby fans. Uh, that's always been that side of it. She was born in Wrexham, uh, always visiting North Wales. Um, 
Scotland didn't appear, stuff like that. So I've always, it's always been a part of my life. It, I, I wouldn't, I wasn't expecting to play for Wales um, international, but then I don't know if I was expecting to play international at all. You, you kind of just take it one step at a time. And when this kind of thing comes along, you, I mean, there's no chance of you. You're going to say no to something like that. Was there a branch of the family who've always been on at you, even you were playing at Oh yeah, yeah they, were, yeah, they were definitely, yeah, yeah. Graham was always getting in my ear. She, she just wanted me to, <laughs> to play them, but uh, I, was, uh, I, was, I was trying to block her out, but now it's, uh, it's brilliant. If it all goes well, a couple of weeks could be up against Stowe and Farrell. What would that be like? Yeah, well, hopefully. Um, I've, I've, well, I've, to be honest, I've got this game first. I, I really, I'm genuinely not <laughs> thinking about anything else other than this game, because this is all that matters uh, for the team, myself, uh, trying to make sure we get through this game, but when it comes, if it comes and when it comes, I'll be very excited to, to play against them. You got a nickname yet in the group? <laughs> uh, I've got uh, <laughs> at the moment. I've got um, Neil, uh, just because <laughs> Alawin accidentally got it wrong. I think on one day, which was brilliant. He came up to me afterwards, and it was at the captain's run, uh, the captain's thing, the launch, uh, where he spoke to Owen. And he said, oh, Neil's quite a good lad. And I know and got very confused, didn't understand what, <laughs> what he was talking about. And then it quickly dawned on him that he got my name wrong. So Is that definitely been, an accident rather than on purpose? It was right? definitely an accident. Right. Uh, really well, I hope he knows it now. Um, <laughs> I just thought whether well, he was trying to Welshify you. Could, Neil you know what? It, it could have been there. Yeah, no, it yeah. could have been. Might not have been an accident. Yeah, it'd be Thomas but we've, Welsh. Yeah. <laughs> but it's it been... Um, and it's, yeah, well, it's sticking now, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm getting all the lads. So I'm trying not to make it, but it might be now, yeah. Can I just ask you about, oh, you no, talk, sorry, you talked about Bundyaki and uh, Henshaw. It's a sore shoulder day, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it could be, yeah, with the, with the way they run um, and the way they tackle. So, But, that, I mean, that's kind of what you relish. You want those kind of challenges. Um, I'm excited for it. I'm, I'm going to get stuck in as much as they will, so it's going to be fun. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.